The RTX on trailer from Nvidia not only has shiny surface and puddles, but also brings us a handful of new gameplay scenes. I made this list of 10 things you probably miss on this trailer, especially for you, so come with me and let's check them out. We begin this list with an ad that captures the dystopian future of Cyberpunk 2077 just fine. On number one, we have the Pure Overkill ad. I think there is a marketing of some weapon and probably from budget arms, I would assume. I mean, why would do just that if I were creating an ad for that carnage shotgun of theirs? What is more overkill than a four gauge pump action shotgun? I cannot think anything, to be honest. Moving on to number two, we have yet another ad. I first saw this on the Xbox gameplay footage, but I only found space for a video here. We have the wide open ad. It features someone in their back, which is spread legs, naked, and with what looks to be a snake-shaped dildo between the legs or something. I, I'm not sure if this ad is for a brain dance, for a club, maybe for an energy drink, or just simply the sex toy. Anyway, it's mind-blowing, isn't it? <laughs> On number three, we have El Coyote Coho Bar, and we have seen this place multiple times, you know, but have you ever noticed that this is the very same bar that we saw over two years ago on the first gameplay trailer? It is so nice to see how the game has evolved, don't you agree? On number four, other than beautiful ray trace rays of God, we have the interior view of what I believe is the original V's house when a Nomad Life Path prologue, or maybe Jackie's place on that same prologue, I'm not sure. What I know that is that we saw this place from outside already, and there you have it. Before we move on to the next on this list, why don't you take this short break and smash that subscribe button? I am so close at reaching 10k subs and only you can help me get there. In a few more days, I will be uploading daily videos of guides, exploration, tech reviews and much more, all tailored just for you. Alright, let's move on. On number 5, we got Kengtao security robots. They are being employed by NCPD and I wonder how many of those we'll see during the game. In the final gameplay trailer, we get to shoot some robots in the desert, but those King Tao ones are clearly more robust, with wider lag base and apparently better armory. On number 6, we have Chrome Butt Chicks. Wait, that, that wasn't what I wanted to say, no, forget about it. We have this girl barefoot. It is a small detail indeed, but I quite like this. I mean, why bother using shoes if you have a cybernetic fit, right? On number 7, we got a beautiful exotic car. This is the Rayfield Caliburn. We first saw this ride on the TV spot and it was really in bad shape, thanks to V I guess. Later on, we got to see more info on this ride on the Rise of Dark Future gameplay. This girl has over 1600 horsepower while having a power to weight ratio of just 1. I highly doubt that V would ever be able to afford one, but nothing is stopping us from borrowing a fuel drain or Journey. On number 8, there is a lore detail I already mentioned in a video a few months ago, and note how inside the afterlife bar there are whole walls of body refrigerators. And this ain't strange after you learn that this place used to be a morgue, hence the name Afterlife. Another fun fact about the place is that in order to get a drink named after you, you not only need to be a legend of Night City, but you also need to be dead. Moving on to number 9, we have those beautiful shots from the Magani Market. The place is impressive on its own, with plenty of high-end restaurants to choose from. The new kit style is strong here with the colors and textures, but that ain't Oh, what I want you to notice is how on this shot the trees that bridge the corridor are actually fake. And by that, I don't mean plastic fake, I mean fully holographic projections fake. Note how they are translucent and there is a device hanging on the wall whenever the branch starts. Finally, on number 10, we have a sequence of Maelstrom footage. Those two first guys are completely destroyed by V shooting this biohazardous tank, and note how the place is remarkably similar to the one we raided during the 2018 demo gameplay, the Slaughterhouse. There is also a handful of Militech crates, uh, which I believe is part of the cargo they stole from them. We can also have a better look at the updated visual of Royce doing this boss fight. Note how now he is wearing this badass red Militech shield. With only 8 days away from the launch of Cyberpunk 2077, my anxiety is starting to kick in really hard. What about yours? My list of post-launch content ideas keep growing every day, and I promise you, you're gonna 
gonna love all that content. As always, thank you so much for watching and I see you next time.